Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Let's start off by taking a look at a pleasant picture here. Aztec Chevrolet out in Beeville. 87 degrees and east-southeast wind and fair skies. It's not very uh, hot out there today. It hasn't been with that easterly flow. Now 87 also out in Rockport. They did have a couple of showers. They missed the rain gauge here, but east wind at 10 miles an hour. Now, if you're thinking about going out to the beach for your Sunday, give it a second thought. You can be having mostly cloudy skies with thunderstorms increasing during the day. An east wind at 10 to 15 knots, which may gust higher than that. A high only in the mid 80s, but moderate rip current risk and it may increase as we go through the day tomorrow. Water temperature at 86 degrees. Now here's the setup. You've got a high pressure in the upper atmosphere kind of bridging across the central plains down to the south. Here's that little weak disturbance that has brought those showers in today. Now that's the first part of this puzzle here because there's a lot of moisture behind that and it sets the stage for a stronger tropical system. 93 was your high today. The morning low, get this, 68. That's right, only four degrees off the record low uh, set back in 2017. All right, so it was a cool morning and that's because of the dryness of the atmosphere at the time. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s across the board right now. And that's what you're seeing here, middle 80s to lower 90s right now. Tomorrow morning, you're gonna see some changes though. Right now, it's very dry in the interior, only 20 to 40% relative humidity, but the moisture is starting to come in. Already you're seeing that spill of moisture coming in 65 to 70% relative humidity. That trend is gonna continue and that's gonna keep our morning lows in the middle to lower 70s and near 80 along the coastline. Tomorrow's highs, not as high because of the increasing cloud cover and rain chances. Only the middle 80s to lower 90s, a little bit uh, warmer out west where the rain will not have yet occurred. But look at the easterly flow. And then the second part of this, watch this uh, increasing wind across the area here. That's your tropical system that's coming up from the Bay of Campeche. And its path is going to be crucial to how much rain we get. Right now, there's that weak disturbance over us now, and that brings the moisture in. But here's the second system right here. And the models are indicating a lot of wraparound moisture with that, a lot of rainfall coming across the coastal bend with the system itself staying just to our east. That's gonna be the crucial aspect to how much rain and how much wind we get out of the system. It could change, but for now, the models are giving this track right up the coast, just in the coastal waters. And what that means is that we don't get the brunt of the torrential rain. Nevertheless, we're going to get rain. And it depends on where the track is. Some of this could be heavy at times and really blossom three, four, five inches of rain. This could all change, but this is for Monday morning is the big rain event. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that one. That could mean flooding across our area. Now, Tomorrow morning, starting off with showers in the area, 75 degrees, warming in only into the upper 80s tomorrow with that steady and somewhat gusty east wind, pouring that moisture in with increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms during the day tomorrow, becoming areas of locally heavy rain overnight, Sunday night into Monday, and then tapering off Tuesday as the system exits to the north and northeast. Still enough instability in the atmosphere for the rest of the week and that residual tropical moisture to keep rain in the forecast with highs from the middle 80s to lower 90s. We'll be back with more news after the break.